Hello, my name is Sungwook Lee at Dangook University in Korea, and I am corresponding author of an article recently published in Gastroenterology entitled with an RNA atomer that binds carcinoma embryonic antigen in which hepatic metastasis of colon cancer cells in mice. It is great honor to have the opportunity to show you our study through this video extract. Colorectal cancer is one of the most common cancers worldwide, both in terms of instance and mortality. Especially liver metastasis occurs in 20 to 70 percent of patients with colorectal cancer and is the leading cause of death. However, only a portion of liver metastasis are amenable to current therapeutic treatment. CEA, which stands for carcinoma embryonic antigen, is overexpressed in a majority of carcinomas, including those of gastrointestinal system. CA overexpression is known to be related to cell adhesion, onychic cell resistance, and promotion of metastasis to the liver. Especially, the end domain of CA is known to increase cell aggregation between CA positive cells. In particular, five amino acids of PELPK sequence existing between the N and the A1 domain of CA are responsible for binding to the CA receptor, which is HNRMPN4, on copper cells, which is associated with the initiation process of a hepatic metastasis. Furthermore, the expression of a CA on the plasma membrane in which the signaling of DL5 by direct binding through the PLPK sequence of CA, thereby inhibiting the onychis process. Therefore, the, the ability to recognize and block the metastasis initiating domain of CA will be useful for development of the therapeutics and the diagnosis of CA related metastasis. Recently, small structured single cell RNAs called RNA aptamers have emerged as a viable alternative to small molecule and antibody based therapies. RNA aptamers have a variety of advantages as anti cancer molecules because they can be chemically synthesized, are easy to modify for in vivo use, and have a better ability to penetrate tumor tissues. Aptamers can specific specifically recognize and tightly bind their target through formation of, of uh, complementary three-dimensional structures. In this study, we tried to ident identify an RNA aptamer specific to the metastasis-inducing domain of CA and assess its anti-metastatic potential. To this end, effects of the aptamer on metastatic properties of cells as well as metastasis of colon cancer cells in mice were analyzed. A spe specific RNA aptamer was selected in this study against the metastasis-inducing domain, which is N plus A1 domain of CA through select method. Of note, binding ability of the aptamer vanished when only two amino acids in the PLPK sequence were mutated. To our knowledge, the isolated aptamer is the first ligand specific for the PLPK motif in the hinge region of the metastasis inducing domain of CA. Accordingly, the aptamer accidentally disturbed the interaction of CA and CA receptors on macrophage. Moreover, the, the isolated aptamer bound specifically to CA positive cells. The isolated aptamer specifically and efficiently hampered homotypic aggregation, migration, and invasion by CA positive cancer cells, which are properties of CA, CA involved in the metastatic process. Three regions of the end domain very close to the PLPK sequence are most necessary for intercellular adhesion and migration. RNA aptamer recognized a specific domain, including the PLPK sequence, probably through an inducted manner. Therefore, the binding of RNA aptamer to CA could inhibit its interactions with itself or others, resulting in specific and efficient inhibition of cell aggregation, migration, and invasion. Importantly, we showed that the isolated aptamer efficiently induced an anarchist of CA positive colon cancer cells by directly disrupting the interaction between DL5 and CA using IP immunoblast analysis in vitro and in cells and mammalian 2 hybrid method. This indicates that PLPK sequence in CA is directly involved in DL5 interaction as previous, previously proposed. Taken together with the inhibitory effect on CA-CA receptor interaction, onychis induction phenomena indicate, indicate that the RNA aptamer can block the initiating step of the CA negative metastasis process. Given its onychis induction activity, the, the aptamer could be used to augment anti cancer chemotherapy because CA mediated inhibition of onychis is one of the main causes of resistance to cytotoxic chemotherapy. 
Importantly, on in vivo hepatic metastasis experiment shows that the, the RNA ECMO efficiently suppresses the colorectal cancer cell metastasis to liver tissue with no significant liver toxicity. Regulation of various cellular steps in the CA mediated metastatic process by the ECMO could be the main reason of the in vivo anti-metastatic effect. Moreover, the isolated ECMO would be useful for in vitro diagnosis or molecular imaging for CA mediated metastasis. Of note, the ECMO specifically bound to the PLPK motif, which is an indicator of cancer patient with a high metastatic potential. Therefore, the ECMO could be utilized for in vitro and in vivo for determination of the metastatic potential of a cancer patient. Thank you very much.